Good day learners. Today we shall be discussing another interesting topic known as the farm animal pests. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to define animal pests, classify farm animal pests, state the effect of pests on farm animals, enumerate control methods of preventing farm animal pests. What are farm animal pests? Pests can also be referred to as parasite or pathogen depending on the organism involved. But a pest or a parasite is any organism that lives in or on another organism called hosts. It obtains its food and nourishment from the host, causing harm to the host. Classification of farm animal parasites. Farm animal parasites are basically classified into two. We have those that live outside the body, that is on the surface of the body, and those that live inside. Those that live outside the body are known as ectoparasites. These are also called the external parasite. They live on the body surface of farm animals such as skin, fur, bristles, and feathers. Example of such parasites are tick, lice, mites, flies, and fleas. The endoparasites. These can also be called internal parasites. They live inside the body of farm animals. They attack the internal organs and cause different diseases. Examples of such parasites are roundworms, liver flock, also known as the flatworm, tapeworm. Pimor and Triplosomes. Animal parasites and their hosts. Pests, we have ticks and lice. They attack cattle, sheep, and goats. They can also attack dogs. There are signs and symptoms. When animals are infested with this kind of parasite, one of the signs and symptoms are the food blood rash, red spots or rash near the bites, skin also, effect on the host, fatigue, irritation, anemia, reduction in market value, and many other. Treatment and control. Use contact pesticides. Dipping of farm animals into pesticides and rotational grazing can also be used. Internal worms. Intestinal worms attack cattle, sheep, Pig, goat, rabbit. What are the signs? Emaciation and restlessness. Effect on hosts: reduced growth, weight loss, loss of appetite, and liver damage. Treatment and control. The farmer can deworm the farm animals regularly. High standard of hygiene, isolation of sick animals from the healthy world.
Prevention Measures of Animal Pests Prevention of Environmental Contamination Control of Intermediate Hosts Control of Parasites and Arthropods Isolation of Sick Animals and Quarantine Disposal and burning of contaminated carcass. Disinfection of animal houses and pens. Number six, number seven, sorry. Reducing the stocking rate. Number eight, feces and litter may be heaped and oocysts or parasites should be destroyed. Number nine, eggs of ticks and mites deposited on the cracks, the services in the wall and floor of animal houses should be removed periodically. Number 10. Dusting of animals with isoirosine and gamazine. These are chemicals used for controlling parasites. Okay, let's look at the assessment. Number 1. What is parasite? Number 1. They list two examples of major types of parasite that affect farm animals. Number 2. State 3 effects of parasite on the host. State 5 preventive measures you will apply in managing parasites of farm animals. If you have problem with answering this assessment, you can go back and listen to the video properly and I believe you will do better. Thank you for being on this platform.